Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke! On the last episode, we uh, started walking around Fuchsia City, enjoying the nice little break that we had from after walking for about five straight episodes. But yeah, we talked to a lot of people around town, found out that the gym is going to be way too hard for us, even with all the training we've done over the past couple episodes. We did head down to round 19 and fought a couple Pokemon, Pikachu leveled up, but other than that, Nothing really happened. It was just a nice, relaxing episode. This episode, however, we are going to be heading inside the Safari Zone. And here's our Pokemon status after the last episode. I have not healed, but we barely took any damage, so it didn't matter. Jolt is 33. Roy is 33. Mikasa is 32. Daisy's 34. Simone is 36. And Jacques is 36. So, I mean, our Pokemon are good, but they're not good enough. So, we're going to, I mean, we're going to head into this required area. But this should be fun anyway. So, the Safari Zone. Talk to this guy first. Hi! Is it your first time here? Well, no, but we'll say yes for the sake of the game. Safari Zone has four zones in it. Each zone has different kinds of Pokemon. Use Safari Balls to catch them. When you run out of time or Safari Balls, it's game over for you. Before you go, open an unused Pokemon box so there's room for new Pokemon. That is a smart idea. I should probably go check. I mean, I don't think I'm anywhere close to filling up a Pokemon box, but let's just switch just in case. Because, for the sake of the Nuzlocke, I still, I, you know, for Nuzlocke rules, I can only catch the first Pokemon in each area. For the sake of having some variety, I made it so that the Safari Zone technically counts as four areas. Since that's what the Safari they said it was four areas. So in each area of the Safari Zone, I'll be allowed to catch a Pokemon. That's just a personal rule that I added. And in fact, that was that was planned as a rule from like before I even started. I was going to do this regardless. <laughs> so because I like the I like the I like the Safari Zone. It's too big of an area to not have more than one Pokemon. Plus, I haven't caught a Pokemon in Route 18. Have I caught a Pokemon? No, I did catch a Pokemon in Route 18. Route. But what route am I catching? Am I missing something in? Route... I don't think I am. I think I've actually caught something in every single route. Except for the routes that I failed in, like... SSN and Route 12. How many Pokemon do we have? Let's just let's just see for a moment. Uh... Oop. Alright, let's deposit... This box is full of Pokemon. Good to know. Alright. So, box one is completely full. We'll change then. Thank you for telling me about that. I switched to route box one again. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so box one is completely full. Box two now. There, so any Pokemon we catch now will be in box two. Box 12 is still the still the graveyard or Pokemon tower. That's very nice for that guy to remind me. Otherwise, I would have went in here and not been able to catch anything. It would have ruined all, uh, it would have ruined all the plans. Now, the difference between normal areas and route and uh, the Safari Zone, which is why I, I made it different, is because things work a little differently in the Safari Zone. We've already heard that we have to use something called Safari Balls, which are not the Pokeballs or Great Balls we've used so far. Welcome to the Safari Zone. For just $500, you can catch all the Pokemon you want in the park. Would you like to join the hunt? Well, we have plenty of money, so yes, we will. That'll be $500, please. We only use a special Pokeball here. Bucky received 30 Safari Balls. There we go. We'll call you on the PA when you run out of time or Safari Balls. So. It sounds like something's evolving. We're in the Safari Zone now. As you can see at the top left, that's our status currently. We have 30 balls that we can use inside here, the Safari Balls, and we have 500 steps that we can take before we run out of time. Since we took one step to do this, we're already at 499, so boo. Now, there is a couple things in the Safari Zone that we want to pick up because they will be absolutely required. And by required, I mean we will not be able to progress through the rest of the game without these items, so we'll... We'll take our time. So this is the entrance area. So there are some unique Pokemon in this area, but I'm gonna try and avoid anything because I don't think I have the proper thing for this area, so. Oh God, I have to make my way through this? 
Oh no, I have to walk through grass. No! This is gonna ruin my plans. Do I have it? Do I have it? I don't. That wasn't smart. No! Well, there goes that plan. Whatever. All right, so here it is. This is what's different in the Safari Zone. I can throw bait, I can throw a rock, I can, I can throw Pokeballs, and I can run. So Paris, have we seen a Paris yet? I don't think we have. We could have we could have caught a Paris back in Mount Moon, but we just never saw one. So, yeah, we have a chance to catch one here. Level 27, so what the bait does is it makes it, it makes it less likely that the Pokemon will run away but a little harder for you to catch it. While the throw rock makes it easier to catch the Pokemon, but it makes it easy, it makes it harder for it to, it makes it easier for it to run away. I think I phrased it way wrong. Let me try that again. Bait will make Pokemon want, want to stay, but it'll make it harder to catch. Throw rocks, it'll make a Pokemon easier to catch, but they'll have a better chance to run. So you have to, you have to take that to advantage. You have 30 balls, let's just throw one. All right, broke out. It didn't do anything. Try it again. So we don't fight it. We just try and catch it. Although if you throw too many of these, it'll run away. There we go. We out of Paris. D dang it. <laughs> you Pokemon X Okay, so we haven't caught a Paris before. Mushroom Pokemon. Burrows under the ground and gnaw on tree roots. The mushrooms on its back absorb most of the nutrition. I will give a nickname to this Paris. I will name him. What am I gonna name him? I'm gonna name him. I'm gonna name him Mario. I mean, we have a Daisy, we have a Peach. This is the mushroom Pokemon, so why not? So. There's an incredibly rare Pokemon that's very e that's I can only get here, but I need the Super Rod in order to get it. Now I kind of screwed up by not having the Super Rod in my person, and I immediately found a Pokemon in the first part of grass, so I can't get that Pokemon anymore. Which would which sucks because if we would have gotten that Pokemon, we would have been able to see the final type that we have yet to see. So yeah, now I'm in area one, center area, north area two. So yeah, this is the this is area one technically, or area two as it's called. Uh, let's continue going through this. So this Pokemon I'll be able to catch as well. All right, it's a Nidoran. I better not have any run away. I don't have to worry. That's two Pokemon in two areas. Unfortunately, none of them are like the rare ones. They're like the super common ones. Its large ears are always kept upright. If it senses danger, it will attack with a poisonous sting. Uh, I have no... You know what? I have a name I was going to give this. I'll name this after the, the need around for my own Nuzlocke. There we go. Now you're forever, forever remembered, Mitch. All right. Yeah, I caught a, I caught a Nidoran where, I, where we caught Daisy. I caught a Nidoran male in my personal Nuzlocke run. And I named it Mitch because... I thought it was cool. <laughs> All right, so none of our Pokemon matter. We've taken about 50 steps. Running with another Pokemon. Watch this be a rare one. Mm. All right, it's not rare, but it's a strong one. It's an arena. Well, we're just going to run because we can't do anything else. We can toss rocks at it if we want to. Now, there are items scattered throughout here. In fact, there's an item up here. Pick this up. Oh, I'm going to run out of item space, will I? Uh, once again, here's me not thinking. Uh, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I have three spots. Well, we could use this. There you go, Joel. Ooh, yeah, with your speed. That was nice. Also, that was a waste like, of a couple steps, so I got to be careful. I got I to gotta be very meticulous with these steps because I have to reach the goal. I have multiple chances to get through this, but... I'd, I'd rather get it now. One pass through. Ah, oh, that would have been nice to have and execute. Oh, no point. It's a good thing we can't like lose any Pokemon in here. So this is why I consider this a partial dungeon. We're supposed to go through this area. There's a lot of wild Pokemon, but you don't fight anything and you have no, 
no, uh, no real danger. Cubone! Like, I'm finding all these rare Pokemon after I caught a Nidoran. And a Paris. Well, Paris is pretty rare. Rarish. Rarish Paris. <laughs> Alright, there's another item right here. Max Potion! We had one of those before. Alright, let's take this path. It is somewhat maze-like to get to the destination we're supposed to reach. Pick this item up as well. There's a full restore. Take that Max Potion. So, there's a bunch of these houses scattered throughout the Safari Zone. They're rest areas. There's only people inside of them, and they're not really helpful. So, we're going to avoid going inside that. Especially since it'll take you away, it'll get rid of some steps, which we desperately need. I'm actually curious to see how many steps we'll have at the end of this. Another neat arena. So far, we have every single item we could we could have collected by now, except one, which we can't get until we have some more gym badges. Another execute. I just want to see like one of those rare Pokemon. One of those really rare, like, 5% chance or lower of seeing it, which there are a lot of in the Safari Zone. All right, trainer tips. The remaining time declines only while you walk. Yeah, we kind of know that. 320 steps. 180 steps so far. All right, we're back. We're now in area three, or technically area two. Where's a sign? There's a sign. All right, so let's see the sign. Trainer tips. Win a free HM for finding the secret house. So that is the goal. We're going to try and win this, t this HM. So we have to find the secret house. Luckily for us, I know which one the secret house is. I can't, I'm trying to look at the map, but I can't look at the map because there's no map for this area. So yeah, there's an exit right there. That is a fake exit. <gasps> Yay! We get a chance to catch a Cubone! It better not run away, please. Yeah! <laughs> we got a Cubone! Oh, that's so nice. So that's the Pokemon for area two. We only have one more area left. The lonely Pokemon. Where's the skull of its deceased mother? It cries echo inside the skull and come out as a sad melody. I will nickname this one. What am I going to nickname this one? I have no idea what to nickname a Cubone. Uh, something that has to do with, like, ghosts or something. Or I could just go to another random... Another, uh... I have no idea. You know what? So today's, I'm recording this Thursday. We'll name this thing Vex. <laughs> it's kind of ghost-like, and it is, it's a female name, so that's nice. All right. We have one more Pokemon left to catch in this area. Not this area. Next area. Trainer tips. Pokemon hide in tall grass. Zigzag through grassy areas to flush them out. That was the worst. That was the worst uh, trainer tip I've had. Especially now. <laughs> We're at what? Episode 42? Oh, of course now. Wild King has caught appeared. I can't catch you. You are super rare too. You're like five or 10%. Well, that kind of sucks, but we got a Cubone, so I'm fine with it. To read all these signs. Area two. Well, see, there we go. All right, this, there's an exit right here. That's also a fake exit. Well, they're not really fake exits, but more like areas that don't lead me to where I'm supposed to go. So I'm going to continue going on. How's my item stuff looking? I'm going to, I need, I need at least two open spots for this. I have a TM27. If I need to, I could toss a super repel. You can also toss the escape ropes. I haven't used them. All right, now I have to start going north. The music in this place can get a little grating after a while because it's the same thing over and over. All right, this should be another item. TM40. Don't know what that is. At least off the top of my head. Yeah, let's go. There's a house over to our right. It's not the secret house. There's a Nidoran. Let's just run. I, I hope I don't accidentally throw a Pokeball and catch something else. If I do, I won't name it. Oh, I'm out of item spots. No, that's what I, that's what I expected. I need to toss some stuff. I need... What is this going to be? Uh, let's, let's just toss... Uh... Yeah, let's toss the Super Repel. Mm -hmm. I'm so nice. I'm tossing this on the ground, basically. 
littering. Oh no, hold on. Toss, toss all four. There you go. I can't wait for future generations when I have bigger bags. Protein. Well, well, that seems like it's not. It was not worth the four items of the five items I tossed. But let's give that the jolt. There you go. Attack rose. That's nice. And it's used immediately, so I still have that item slot. Will I be able to make it? I have less than 200 steps. Start going down. As far as I didn't run into anything there. Come on, let's run into some more Pokemon. Some more rare Pokemon. Trainer tips. The secret house is still ahead. See, we took the correct path here. There we go. All right. Request notice. Please find the Safari Warden's lost gold teeth. They're around here somewhere. Reward offered. Contact. Warden. So, now it makes perfect sense as to why the Warden was mumbling the entire time beforehand. He lost his teeth. We'll pick that up later. Uh, we have some time left. We have 137 steps left. All right, let's pick this up. TM32. All right. But this right here, this is the secret house. Ah, Finally. You're the first person to reach the secret house. I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations. You have won. And we got HM3. Which is, if I remember correctly, a very good move. All right. I'm going to do this now because I have the time. Helix Fossil go there. Helix Fossil come back. Switch with the TM. There we go. That's fine. So HM3. It contains Surf. I will teach this to a Pokemon. I'm going to teach this to... Aw. Daisy can actually learn to Surf. That's that's nice. Even though Daisy's poison ground. But for the stab, I'm going to give it to Simone. Now get rid of Bubble because you needs Bubble now. Surf. Despite the fact that every single HM we've run into so far has been kind of eh. I mean, we have Flash, we have Cut. Well, Fly is pretty good. Surf is pretty good. In fact, there's another TM, there's another HM, there's one more that's also pretty good. But yeah, that is why this place is mandatory. Well, that and one other thing. It should also be, I think there's an item right here. Yeah! Ah! Oh, oh. What, what's more expensive? What can I get rid of now? I have too many TMs. Can I toss something up here? Ah! This is what I get for holding a good rod when I should have held this. I should have held a super rod. Oh, but that that sucks even more because uh, uh, you know what? I would have sold that revive regardless. But I need this item too, which is no more for items. All right, well time to time to toss something. I'd rather toss this. Yeah, that's fine. All right, but this, I found the gold teeth, which is just on the floor right here. Kind of gross, but yeah. So that is all I need. That's all I needed for the Safari Zone. I have 94 steps left. I need to catch a Pokemon in this route specifically. The problem is, in this area specifically, the only problem is, from what I can tell, uh, <laughs> their grass is through that gate, which I need to go all the way around for, so we're going to run out of steps before we reach that. So, I'm going to use the good rod over here and just catch something from the from the water. I have 68 steps left. Alright. It's a shame this isn't a super rod, but whatever. We'll find out what we get. Oh, it's a bite! What Pokemon is it? Something be good. I'm not looking. Ooh, Poliwag. I closed my eyes because I wanted to tell from the call. Which is kind of a fun game to play when you played Pokemon too long. One. Mm -mm. Alright, it's still there. That's a good sign. One. Two. Mm. Still there. One. Two. Mm. <laughs> I'm afraid it's going to run. Don't run, please. Could toss. 
I'd make it harder to catch, though. It's not. Ah, oh, no, there it goes. Well, that's what I deserve. So, I can just exit right now. That'll take me straight back. But let's hear what the PA has to say when I reach out, when I reach timeout. So, yeah, I caught three out of four Pokemon in the, in the Safari Zone. Pretty good. I mean, I got all the items I needed. There are, how many items did I miss? One, two, uh, three, four. There's four items I missed. We can always come back in here and get them. We'll probably have to wait until we actually have some more gym badges so we can use some of these more H some of these HMs that we're about to get. Like like Surf. Right. Ding dong. Time's up. Your Safari game is over. Did you get a good haul? Come again. Alright. They'll be caught a hey. well surprisingly they were all new Pokemon, which is very nice. We caught a we caught a Paris, we caught a we caught a Nidoran, and we caught a Cubone. It's a shame we didn't find any, like, the rare, rare Pokemon, like Kangaskhan in there. There was also another Pokemon we could have seen that I'm surprised we didn't see, but unfortunately we didn't see. Also, Chansey, which I would have laughed. I would have laughed a lot had we seen one, just because the odds of seeing one are really low. Although I would have really liked it had I uh, actually gotten the... Uh, gotten what I the Pokemon I wanted to catch in the first area although that's my fault for not having the super rod out I even I even remember telling myself after I ended the recording last episode that okay I should probably head back to the Pokemon Center and put my super rod in my bag oh well I knew that I knew that running out of item slots was gonna be a problem I just didn't expect to run into a Pokemon in the first patch of grass I ran into hold on let's find out what these TMs are first before we put them away for almost forever God knows as soon as I put them in this, inside the box, I'm never going to touch them again. Boot up a TM. It contains Skull Bash. Ooh. I will not. How about this one? TM. It contained Double Team. All right. That's kind of kind of useless. Boot up a TM. It contained Egg Bomb. Uh, no. I think any of my Pokemon can even learn Egg Bomb. Now, hold on. Uh, there we go. Let's deposit all these TMs. Let's deposit the good rod. Should probably only have the super rod on me from here on out. Even though I can't tell how many times I'll be able to use that from here on out. Maybe in cities I haven't caught anything in. I'm going to sell this full restore too. Let's, no, do I have the full restore in the, bo in the box? I think I do. In which case, let me put that in there. So I have more than one. I'm going to keep the gold tea for now, because I need it. Right, let's see. Bunch of TMs. Three Moonstones. Bunch of Elixirs and Ethers. A Great Ball. Which I should probably withdraw. Because I have some Great Balls already. Let's take an Old Rod. Max Ether. Old Amber. A couple floor Restores. Coin Case. Lift Key. Super Rod. There's my... Uh, ooh. Oh, no. I was going to hold on to that until I got something better. I think I can only have, like, 50 items inside the PC, though, so... I'm gonna run out of item slots in that as well. But, now that we have the teeth, let's go talk to the Warden, so he can finally talk to us. Hello, sir. Bucky gave the gold teeth to the Warden. The Warden popped in his teeth. I like how he has gold teeth. <sighs> Thanks, kid. No one could understand a word that I said. I couldn't work that way. Let me give you a, something for your trouble. And we receive HM4! HM4 teaches strength. It lets Pokemon move boulders when you're outside of battle. Oh yes, did you find Secret House in Safari Zone? If you do, you win an HM. I hear it's the rare Surf HM. So now, we have every single HM that you can get in the game. HMs one through five. All right, so let's do this now. Uh, nope, B. Town map, let's move that up to the top. Helix fossil, you go at the bottom. So yeah, now we have every single HM. Let's use this. Strength, who am I gonna teach this to? 
I can teach it to Roy. I can teach it to Daisy. I can teach it to Simone. Simone already knows Surf. Let's teach it to Daisy. What move should I get rid of? Scr Let's get rid of Scratch. <laughs> Strength is better than Scratch anyway. Can I use it now? Do I have the gym badge? I don't remember. This requires strength to move. Let's test this out then. Oh, I can use strength! Haha! -ha! So now I can move boulders that look like this by just walking into them and they move like that. So, let's grab this item. Rare candy! Speaking of which, who requires the rare candy the most? Let's take a look. Roy, you still haven't evolved. 2300. Mikasa, you're the lowest. 2700. Daisy. 33,000. Jolt? 3200. Alright, so Jolt gets it. I'm not even going to give it to Simone or Jock since they're already the strongest Pokemon. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to give it to Roy. No, I'm giving it to Jolt. <laughs> I was gonna give it to Roy until I, I noticed that him and Jolt were the same level. Because you're still you're still the uh, you're still the lowest level, and you're, you haven't passed 100 health yet. But Jolt probably won't pass 100 health yet until he gets to like level 40 or something. Good job, Jolt. Plus, we needed to level up this episode, so why not Jolt? So we've success we've successfully gone through the Safari Zone. We got the we got both critical items we needed to collect. HM5 and the gold teeth. We turn in that gold teeth to get HM4, which is another required item that we needed. So the safari zone is technically done, except for the items that we missed. We also caught three new Pokemon inside the safari zone. We had one run away from us, but three's better than nothing. So now that we've done all of this, we've hit the dead end point that I mentioned with the gym. There's nothing else for us to do right now, except for one thing. And that is located in the town that we're about to head off to on the next episode. So, we've explored every single town that we can currently reach in the in the town map, except for one. And that town is Saffron City. We've barely been inside it, but there is stuff inside it. So, we're going to head off there next episode and find out what we can do there. So, Save the game. I have 32 Pokemon! I can go get that item now at Route 1112. Which will take up another item slot, but whatever. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy.